Catching Snakes with Jason is proudly brought to you by National ITC oh. Consulting. They can't bite you through the back. 100%, yeah. Okay, so do you know where the head is? No. Okay. <laughs> Jason, how are you doing today? Good man, I'm about to catch a mamba. <laughs> a black mamba. A black mamba, yeah. All right, okay. And we're in Verulam here? In Verulam in Mount View. Um, mm -hmm. I caught a mamba in this property about a week and a half ago. Right. And I caught a huge mamba just up the road, like three, 400 meters about a week before that. Mm -hmm. uh, and then about two weeks before that, another snake catcher caught a black mamba in the same property. So there's a number of these things cruising around mm -hmm. <laughs> at the moment, particularly in this area. Um, we're assuming that there's a girl somewhere and it's coming up to mating season. So all the boys that are in the neighborhood have all, all they're all honing in on her. They're all looking for her. I don't know if this is maybe going to be a female. Yeah. But let's see. All right. So, uh, this is not one of the bigger ones, I'm right. It doesn't look too big. I can just vaguely see a portion of its body through the leaves here. Uh, it looks, if I'm judging by its thickness, it looks like it's probably two meters or maybe just over two meters, but it's not massive, but it's, it's still a mamba. It's still deadly. I can see the head moving there. See, now he's starting to feel a little bit anxious because right. he's being exposed and he's obviously a bit scared, which is why he's coming here in the first place. You see that? Oops! A little mouth, flesh of the mouth, just warning you to stay away. To stay away. Oh, that's what he wants me to do, but it's not what I'm gonna do. <laughs> Jason is always so calm, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what I want to do is just touch his body here, get his head to stick out a little bit. He's actually a little bit bigger than our. No, he, he actually looks. Uh, oh, whoa, whoa. bigger than I thought, eh? A little bit. Yeah, he is He's a thick boy. Yo. It's head, which is uh, making it a bit more difficult for me. I can see it. Oh, where's he going? Oh, yeah, he going? Yeah. So here's the head coming out of here. Can you see the head? The bottom. So here he comes. Have you seen the head? Oh, you got the head. Oh, you got, go. got the head now? Ah, you got it, you got it. And that's when things erupt. So let's watch this again in slow motion. And what you'll notice is Jason actually grabs the snake about 10 centimeters away from its head. And the reason why he does it is because this snake is so fast that by the time he catches it, you'll see it's actually close to the head. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, 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 wow. So that's when they explode with uh, <laughs> enthusiasm and wanting to bite you is when you get your tongues on them and wow. realize they're in danger. Right. So, oof. very interested to see if this is going to be the girl. How, how, do we, how do we check that, Jason? What I'll do is... Can you do it there? Or you need some help? I can do it like this. That's no problem. <laughs> It looks like another boy. Is it a boy? It looks like it. Let me just confirm. I'm also trying to stop it from rubbing this stuff all over me. What is it doing? It's, it's musking me. It's like pooing and urinating and it smells. All at the same time? Wow. It's got a really strong smell and I don't want to smell like that for the rest of the day. <laughs> um, oof. Come on. Yeah, that's a boy. So it's another boy. This is the third boy that's coming out of this. So there's property. definitely a female somewhere around here. There has to be. Wow. There has to be a girl somewhere close by. Um, or she just cruised through here at some point and they're just following that scent. Um, yeah, I don't know where she is, but she definitely is somewhere around here, I'm sure. Wow. And they can smell her. They're trying to, they're trying to find her. Yo, yo, yo. We're going into mating season for black mambas now. They mate in June and July. So this time of the year, they're trying to just establish where the girl is. And they <laughs> want to live close by, that maybe even live with her. Yes. And then as soon as it's ready for mating season, they're already there. Um, and they get to mate with her. So is Varilum like a hot spot right now for at the moment, At the moment, there's been, yeah, for the last, uh, last two months, yeah, this area is now picked up. Wow. Alright, so what's the next step, Jason? Okay, so now I've got to stick it in a bag, which is the most dangerous part. Alright, everybody please, can you just give Jason some space there? So that means there's a lot of food here. 
<laughs> they must be. They must be the one that I. How long do you think this is, uh, Jason? It's over two meters. It's probably 2.1 or so. Okay. okay. This is where we caught the last one. Can we bring something for you uh, to put it in? I've got a bag. You yeah. got a bag with you? Yeah. Okay, cool. Thanks. So, this is one of the most dangerous uh, parts of the job. Yeah, it is. It is. Because they can bite uh, you now. I prefer putting mambas into buckets much safer. Right. But buckets take up a lot of space in your car. Yeah. Whereas bags, you can put uh, 150 bags in your car and it takes up no space at all. <laughs> so, this is more convenient. Okay. But it's not so safe. Okay, now is changing hands. Changing hands is always a little bit nerve wracking. Wow, you got it done so quickly. I didn't even catch that. <laughs> Slide of hand. It's about to happen again. <laughs> You're going again, okay. Let's stick it into this hand now. Okay. Yo. Oh, oh, oh. It's trying to escape. Yeah, it's not happy. You can see that. Sure. Okay, then I stick the tail in my little finger here, yeah, holds the tail. That fat piece of the tail because I feel I can't get around. And then we basically pull the bag inside out over the snake. Wow, Jason. And I really need bigger bags. <laughs> you think? If anybody would like to sponsor some bigger bags. <laughs> bags? Please sponsor, please. Jason needs bags. Bite free bags. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Are you still holding on to the head? Do you ever let go of that? I have to eventually, but um, not until the whole body is in there. And I've managed to get the bag closed on this end. Okay. If you don't mind just shoving that coil in there. Thanks, man. Oh, we got a brave man right here. Always nice to have someone that's willing to give assistance. Right, right. There we go. Check here, the fan is sticking out the bag. Yeah? All that venom, all that wet, Some, is all the venom. Uh, uh, insulation tape. So if it injects it into you, you'd finish. Yeah, you're in big trouble. You got to get to hospital really okay. quickly. Any local hospitals in this area keep anti-venom? I think most of them do, yeah. but they keep obviously in a limited supply because it's expensive. Right. It's also got a shelf life. Mm -hmm. So they'll keep it in limited quantities, but it doesn't really matter. I always say to people, don't chase the anti-venom. Don't try and get the victim. Uh, don't try to get the patient to a hospital where you, where you know there's anti-venom for sure, but that, that hospital might be an hour's drive away. Mm -hmm. Rather just get them to the closest hospital where there's a trauma unit. And if they happen to not have anti-venom, they can get it brought in from another hospital. At least they can stabilize you, mm -hmm. they can put you on a ventilator, they can um, intubate you if they need to. And they can keep you alive and get the anti-venom brought through. Mm -hmm. Okay, wow. so. I can see there's a fang there. Yeah. So the head turns. There's an unsung hero right here. Man's been helping all of them. Thanks, man. Shot. Sure. Alright. And now what we can do is let go of the head. Can we let go? Ah! ah. We'll know in a few moments if there's a hole in the bag. <laughs> <laughs> It's easy to find yourself with a bad credit score or under debt review. Let National ITC Consulting help you get your credit back in order so you can apply for a home loan for the house of your dreams or get finance to buy the car you really need. With professionally trained agents who are ready to help you clear your name, contact National ITC Consulting today.